comes in check. Welcome back to our channel! So today we're gonna show you what we did in Fort Stephens. got ready and we left the house and eat breakfast in McDonald's. So after eating breakfast, we went on a train ride from Town Hall Station to Stratfield Station which was around 17 minutes. From Stratfield, we had to catch our train going to Newcastle Interchange. We missed our train, so we had to wait. Aww. So this was our excuse to drink coffee and eat our favorite cheesecake. Yay! Which was Parmesan cheesecake at the Smelly Cheesecake Factory <laughs> in Stratfield. Yes. So tip number one, wake up early so you don't miss your train ride. <laughs> got on our train to Newcastle which was about a 2 hour and 40 minute train ride So tip number 2 make sure you have um, Netflix stand or whatever um, movies you have in your phone because this is a very long train ride yeah so you don't get bored To Newcastle Interchange, we had to walk five minutes to get to the bus stop. Okay. Uh -huh. yep. Newcastle Interchange Stand A. So we had to catch a bus number 131 to Fingal Bay to where our Airbnb was. So it was in Government Road. It was an hour and 30 minute bus ride. It had 85 stops before we got there. Thank you. So 
we found our Airbnb, which is called The Flat in Nelson Bay. And, and we, had, we, meet, we met our lovely host named Trisha. So on day one, what we did was we explored the place. We checked out what we can do around the area. We checked out where we could eat and what route we need to travel so we can get to the meeting place the next day on our dolphin swim. So we had Subway for lunch. What are you eating? <laughs> the best meal of my life today. <laughs> Subway. <laughs> Tip number three, if you're not sure where the meeting place is, uh, find out a day before or a day earlier so you won't get lost or get you won't left. get let, left behind. So after that, we went for a walk and we grabbed a few beers and we capped the day off with those. So tip number four, don't drink the night before the swim. Yes, because the next morning we regretted drinking the night before. So the meeting time for the dolphin swim was 5 a.m. Um, for the trip and then $65 for a footage of your dolphin so Dolphin Swim Australia in Port Stephens is the only place here in New South Wales which is given permission to swim and interact with wild dolphins so we were on the boat for two and a half hours before we reached where the wild dolphins were and it was very very cold since we did this last winter it was freezing so when we got to see where the dolphins were we had to make noises so they could interact with us and play with us so we could see them on top of the water so during the swim you get divided into groups um, we got into swim group 3 I think so. And we weren't together because of the weight, I think. <laughs> so, on the actual swim, you get to be in the water for about 10 to 15 minutes to see these amazing creatures, these dolphins, hundreds of dolphins um, that you see that look like your screensaver. It doesn't look real, it's surreal. So we just feel so happy and lucky that we picked a day which was sunny to do this experience so we got 
the dolphins on camera. We caught it on camera and we get to watch it whenever you want to. So before the swim, we puked a lot and it was freezing cold Aww. and our jackets were not enough. So tip number five, five. bring extra thick jacket. <laughs> so we puked a lot and we got really dizzy, I think for two reasons. Um, one, because maybe we got seasick a bit, but we're not mahiluhin eh. We don't get dizzy easily. And I think it's because of the beer that we drank the night before. So follow our tips guys. Don't drink before you do the swim. <laughs> so tip number six, do wear your contact lenses if you wear prescription glasses like me. So that's not really advisable to wear contact lenses while swimming in the ocean because you might get your eyes infected or whatever, but that's what I did because I didn't have prescription goggles which you can buy so just wear contact lenses you have those goggles on they provide gla goggles so you can wear that to protect your eyes and you can see all the dolphins around you so you don't be blind if you forget your contact lenses that's gonna be bad you won't see anything <laughs> So you can hang them in your house, have them framed, or add them on your CV if you want. I don't know. <laughs> so that was roughly a five and a half hour experience all together. Yeah. <laughs> so we were starving after the whole experience and we puked all our food out. So we headed out to a famous breakfast place in Port Stephens called the Little Nels. A dinner for two at a cruise ship again so not that we're seasick seasick and all but yeah we wanted to have our dinner at a cruise ship again <laughs> day was pretty chill she lent us some beach chairs so we walked to the beach we chilled there we ate more had we drink. yeah we had a drink um, and we talked about how amazeballs the dolphin experience was last day today So the next day, we booked a bus ride that goes directly to Central Station from the bus stop in j right across our Airbnb. And it's a four to five hour drive bus trip, I mean. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a car, so <laughs> we don't drive. So from Central Station, we booked an Uber to our 
house, which is a town hall station. Because we were so exhausted. Yeah, we were exhausted and everything. And yeah, we took an Uber and we got home. We are back home. <laughs> so that's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed our little merry trip to Port Stephens and our dolphin experience, wild dolphin swim experience. And do check out Dolphin Swim Australia if you're interested in doing this kind of experience. It's really cool. And check out the flat at Nelson Bay if you want a lovely host in Airbnb. And they have a really clean place and a cool place which is very near the meeting place. So guys, we're not sponsored in any way. We're just promoting Aww. these places and these experiences and tours because they're so cool and nice. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next week! Cancel chat.